So Amanda, how long does the process usually take? Well, for a property this size, you know, getting the furniture in can be, maybe take about a half an hour or so, and then getting it in place, um, you know, that whole process anywhere from a half hour to hour for a space this size. Of course, if it's much larger, it will take longer. But once the guys, guys, that's going to actually go on this side, on the right. Once the guys get everything in and it's in place, then I can work my magic, making it pretty. We bring it all. Plenty of accessory bins, place settings. We try to pack, you know, as needed, only what we need. So, um, you know, of course, I still do give myself options for um, accessories that will go on the bookshelf, the throw pillows, and all that. Because sometimes being in the space, um, it's good to have options, you know, and not just like a cookie cutter um, set, which is great with, um, you know, what we do here at Busy Bee. Unlike some of our competitors, a lot of them do have pre-made sets, and we really like to try to customize each, you know, property to make it a little more personal feeling and to kind of, you know, give a feeling more than it just being staged, but rather being lived in and feel like a home, which really draws people's attention. And how do you decide what a property needs, like what type of furniture to put in, in this property? Well, first, Jesse comes and does the proposals, then I come and view the space, and I plan the property um, based on, sometimes we have pools, like say a past staging has sold, and it's right before the, the next one that we are staging. I try to plan the furniture from that property to go into the next, and then fill in some pieces from our warehouse. Um, you know, just try to make it really flow with the design. It c I can make it work from anywhere from a modern condo downtown to a row home, you know, that has been split up into different um, apartments like this one. So, you know, it really just depends what we, um, you know, how we do it, if it's coming off from the warehouse or from a property. And just kind of walk through and visualize, okay, I could see this here and that there, and then write down exactly what we need. And then the guys load it and deliver. Can you actually walk us through and show sure. us what you could do to the space yeah. to make it better? Absolutely. Up here is, you know, in my mind, the living area. I know, um, I think Jesse said before that people had the living area back there. Which to me, it doesn't make much sense because this is then going into the bedroom. You wouldn't want your dining here and you're living the whole way back there separated. So my thoughts were to do a small sofa right here. And right here would be like the media area, but I'm using a bookshelf in place just to kind of add some height to the space. And on our proposal, we did um, put, you know, a chair if, if applicable because it is such a tight space. We did bring an armchair, but it may not work in the space, um, which is fine because we do have the sofa. Then we'll have like a filler piece for right here, something to put so it's not just such a open or dead space. Um, we are not staging the bedroom because it kind of speaks for itself. Um, people can visualize, you know, that the bed and where everything will go because it is such a nice size room in there. The um, Dining is in the back. You know, I just visualized a nice dining table with upholstered chairs and then a wine bar in the corner. And that's pretty much the space. And then the kitchen will just um, tweak with a few accessories and a few things in the windowsills. And, um, you know, that is pretty much what we're doing with this space here.